written a mandatory behavior reflection for this one. Uh, <laughs> and uh, if you're not familiar with our behavior reflections, the first question is what behavior or actions led you to a mandatory behavior reflection today? So here's my answer. Um, there are certain actions that you demonstrate day in and day out that have led you to this mandatory communal behavior reflection. <laughs> first, you've listened well to all of us, students, parents, staff, teachers. And usually this is at times when we are not at our best. You listen to us messy and flailing and point us to our better selves. Uh, you show up early, you leave late, handling all of the unexpectedness that comes with your job. Even before you worked here, you were present coming to check in on students who had graduated from the middle school you had worked at and transferred to CCSC, making certain that they were okay and had someone to advocate for them. You um, act as a fortnight referee, offering parents solid tech and social emotional support, <laughs> patiently filling them in on the function of a mute button. Um, you have helped to get a substantial order of pizza made by an impulsive 12 year old to a confused father. And another action leading to this reflection is that you hold space for the people of our community, um, call space for processing ushering young and old relationships around here through rupture repair and providing us with structures for growth. Um, and then the next question on the mandatory behavior reflection is what triggered these behaviors? Um, <laughs> uh, one thing most of us would say is that your calm core triggers your behavior. This deep sense of calm acts as a ballast to right ships and young selves in stormy times. Unless it's the founder of Match who did indeed check that basketball waving it in your face. Um, a deep empathy triggers your listening ear. Students' voice is heard and matters when you are around. And there's a trustworthiness which our students are so grateful for. We have a deep sense of trust in you and the work you do because it's grounded in reliability, accountability, um, and non-judgment. Ultimately, uh, it might be your love that triggers so many of your behaviors. Love that's steady and seeks to help and anchor so many, many in our community. So, Mr. Russ, we thank you for the work that you do.